Don, we were rooting for you. It's so good to see you back on Houston Life. Okay. Well, I mean, in a nutshell, what was this like? No other Houston chef has made it to the finale. I mean, you really wowed the jet, the chefs from beginning to end. Well, thank you for that. I, mean, I was just feeling a little bit anxious myself as I was watching that video, <laughs> <laughs> that clip. Uh, you know, it, it was really, I'm really still very proud of what I've done, even though I didn't bring back the win for us. Um, I hope that you all feel that I have represented this city very well. Um, it was a, an honor and a pleasure to work against uh, beside, the, uh, beside these uh, lovely chefs. And um, it was even better to have Jamie as my sous chef for that evening. Yeah. So well, all, all exciting things. Portland, too. This was such a beautiful backdrop for this season. Looking mm -hmm. back, I mean, title or not, is there anything you would do differently about the season? Because, again, regardless of this title, you are moving mm -hmm. forward with your life and you have some pretty exciting news about your own uh, restaurant. Right. Um, yes, I would have um, edited myself a bit more. I think that that's, I'm always anxious to show people what I can do. And uh, I reach for like the the moon and the stars when maybe I just need to reach as high as, you know, the ceiling, just to make sure that I get everything done that's supposed to get done. Um, but I think that it has a lot to do with um, being an athlete um, and my past career. Um, I am really excited for what's to come here in the city. Uh, I am opening a restaurant um, in the Ion Center um, with my partner, uh, Chef Crystal Williams. He's my business partner. And so those are, I'm looking forward to bringing you some of these dishes that you've seen on Top Chef this season. We are so excited. I can't wait for that restaurant to open. My husband and I are huge fans of the show, huge fans of yours. And if we need to catch anybody up, of course, Don, you competed in the 2000 Sydney Olympics um, as a U.S. team for the long jump. And then you later enrolled in culinary arts at the Art Institute of Houston. So always representing our city and country so well. What I think is so great about this season, Don, and, and I love shows. I love Gabe. I love all the other chefs, but I feel like, you know, I know, I know Gabe won, but you know, it, it was very predictable on the ingredients that those two guys would use. You really went outside and out of your comfort zone from tofu to clams to crabs to, but yet still brought in sort of a little bit of you was, that was really the challenge for you, I would guess, right? Still trying to keep true to yourself. Um, yeah, well, I, I entered um, this arena, honestly, making sure that I'd always stay true to myself. I think it's very important to do that, um, you know, and in a competition such as this, you know, you want you want to showcase your skills, but you also want to let people know who you are culinarily. And I think I did that well this season. I can say that the chefs really enjoyed what they had, what, what they ate from me. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I have that to take away. You have so, so many fans here, uh, Don, not just in Houston, at KPRC, I'm telling you, <laughs> Courtney gets so fired up. Like, she was so excited <laughs> to watch last night's episode. What was the big takeaway? I mean, we talked about earlier how, how you know, you, you should have maybe just touched the ceiling when you were shooting for the stars. I think that's an interesting analogy. But what is your big takeaway from this experience, which I can only imagine the level of pressure you felt? Uh, honestly, the, the takeaway pressure um, I'm okay with. You know, it came with the territory from being an Olympian and um, and training really hard to toward that goal. Uh, I think my takeaway is even more confidence than I had um, as a chef um, before before this experience. Um, I embraced the, each challenge fully. I did my absolute best. It was well received. I am aware of the things that I have to work on, and I'm going to work on um, performing better each and every day. So, Well, it's really fantastic. We love shining a spotlight on you, and we can't wait for late August to open. And um, please tell me those black eyed peas are on the menu, because <laughs> I've been drooling ever since last night. I'm going to need some of those black eyed peas. Uh, absolutely. Those black eyed peas will be on the menu. There's nothing better than a fresh black eyed pea, and you'll get them here. I the agree. <laughs> I've seen the drool, Don. That's not a joke. It's real. That's really, really been happening. <laughs> Don Burrell, thank you so much. It's great to see you. All right. Thank you for having me. And Thanks, congrats Brad. on a great season. If you would like to keep up with Don, you can connect with her using the link we have shared on our website, HoustonLife.tv. And still ahead.